So, you just love your home-cooked meals, natural and healthy, and the same time conscious about sustainable and resourceful ways of living. Firewood cooking. Oh, the good old firewood. Who doesn't know about firewood? I guess most of us do. Those of us now living in the diaspora do have fond memories of our past and can relate very well to sparking firewood and the smell of smoke in the backyard or shed. In our previous video, we looked at the traditional cooking method of the Jiko Yamaka, used by the rural folks in Kenya. Today, I would like us to focus on this traditional method of cooking, in Kenya. And, this is the firewood cooking in pot. The firewood cooking in Kenya is called Jiko Yakuni. This cooking method is found in all the rural areas of the country. The Jiko Yakuni is set up differently when compared to the Jiko Yamaka. Both uses natural fuel and create open fire. The Jiko Yakuni uses firewood, burnt to create the heat for cooking. Three stones are laid in the form of a triad on the ground to support the cooking pot. In Kenya, this cooking pot is called Nyangyu. The Nyangyu cooking pot is made out of pure clay. Natural clay doesn't break over intense heat. The clay pot when fired becomes non-porous so it can hold water and food. It also retains heat very well, and transfers the heat all around the inside of the pot. The Kenyan Nyangyu cooking pot, used with the Jiko Yakuni firewood cooking method is best for outdoor kitchens. This is how they are set up for outdoor cooking. Can you imagine, the whole family sitting around the traditional wood fire, cooking a pot of soup? That is something special. Can you imagine the laughter, storytelling, the fireflies and crackling sounds coming from the burning firewood? I am beginning to warm up towards this idea. Indeed. The traditional Jiko Yakuni firewood has additional benefits for the rural folks. Firewood is a cost-effective way to cook for rural people in Kenya. It is a free way of cooking. Like the Jiko Yamaka, the Jiko Yakuni does not use gas fuel or electricity. Made mainly from stones, they are a cheaper option. The stones are easily available from abandoned buildings or construction sites. Again, this is another way that the local people help to clean up the environment. By collecting these discarded building materials, they don't end up in the rubbish tip where there are already tons of other wasted scrap. One good thing about these stones is that, they are easily adjustable, to fit the size of the earthen cooking pot, Nyangyu. In fact, the traditional Jiko Yakuni, does not have any setup and maintenance costs to it. The firewood fuel is collected from dried out vegetation, and trees easily found in the woods and near local dwellings. Collecting dried twigs and firewood is an activity usually done by women and children. This becomes a part of their daily routines as they return back home from their farms. How is the heat controlled? In the Jiko Yakuni firewood heating, the heat is controlled by pulling out and putting back the firewood. Sounds simple, isn't it? More firewood produces more heat, while less firewood reduces the heat. The remains of the firewood, which include charcoal and ash, are later used in charcoal cooking and the outside kitchen garden. Now we see the cycle of fuel in traditional African cooking. Recycling and reusing fuel means nothing can go to waste. In many ways, using firewood for cooking helps save pure environment, one twig at a time. What are some of the uses to which the Nyangyu earthen pot is it to use? In fact, the Nyangyu clay pot is an all-around piece of cooking item in the traditional kitchen. Africans chose to use this clay pot as a healthier option to fry foods. They also steam or boil food, prepare casserole, stews, soups and all kinds of cooking. The earthen clay pot is also good for boiling water for bathing, or other purposes. Some people still use the Nyangyu to keep their water and milk cool in Kenya. Let's take a look at the Nyangyu clay pot. The Nyangyu is long-lasting, but also a fragile piece of cookware. Some pots are made of clay collected from rivers or a specific type of mud, hence the name earthen pot. They are molded into different cooking pot frames. So, 
What are some of the common shapes of earthenware pots you know? Here are my collection I found in the media. And this brings us to the end of our series in traditional cooking methods in Kenya. Kindly subscribe to receive notification for my next videos on traditional heating methods. Kenya is one example of sub-Saharan Africa, so though we love rural Kenya, my next videos will look at cooking methods of city dwellers in the country. My diaspora lens will travel from Kenya to western part of Africa, where we can explore the fun and vibrant lifestyles of fashion. Thank you for watching. Until next time, embrace diversity, and be kind to our planet.